it's Jill with Crick Flicks. I taped it the other day and found that it takes my my phone, which is what I use for um, when I'm when I'm doing a YouTube, uh, is taking forever to transmit the whatever I've taken pictures of and the videos and everything to my computer. So um, I'm usually give or take two or three days from the time that I record it to the time that it actually gets uploaded. So, um, <laughs> and it only takes one of those two to three days for me to absolutely forget what I've talked about or what I've done. That comes with age. But anyway, um, what I'm going to be doing is the Thornberry family, which I, this is the first time I've ever done it. And all the pieces are put together and all the pieces are already um, glittered. However, it, it's just getting to be a lot for me to do it from beginning to end. And I forgot my skizzers. Anyway, the first one or the piece that I'm going to be doing is actually not this one. Let me move her aside here. My daughter also, she leaves for Hawaii on Tuesday and they'll be gone over Easter, but she wants to have their baskets already before they go. So she calls me today and said, can you by any chance do, and then tells me what she wants done to put in their baskets for the older ones to put money in it. So I've got that going on too. Like I don't have enough to do. Anyway, on this little girl here, let me get all my pieces off that I'm gonna be using from the family is sitting down reading a comic book. And you may notice that that comic book is very, very blurry. Um, when I did the glittering on her, she is not blurry. She looks great. I put um, in uh, the, oh, I hope I did them all. Yeah, the glossy accents on her mouth. Um, and then I used glitters on the rest, but I forgot to do her chest. So I'm gonna get this orange glitter out so when I finish up here, I don't forget to do it. What else did I forget? I think that was it. But anyway, um, you might notice, oh, I told you that the comic book is really blurry. So what I did is I printed out, wasted a 12 by 12 sheet of paper to do these two little bits, but I wanted it on heavy paper and I wasn't working on anything else. What I did is I took her hand, and I'll show you why when I get there, um, her arm here, and I just cut out all the way around it. Because what I'm gonna do is cut it out by hand rather than me trying to use my knife feature on my software to cut out the arm and just put the arm out. Uh, after 15 years of doing this or 20 years, I don't even know how long it's been, I, I still to this day learn something new every day. And they think, why didn't I do that before? But I have so many things going on up, up, up here, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know how much of it is of use, but I have a lot going on up there. And then all of a sudden I'll think of something. And rather than me trying to cut it out with the knife, I just cut out around the piece and then I'm cutting it out by hand, just the arm. I don't want all that other stuff going on because I want to pop the arm out so it really shows holding the comic book. I want to change the book that she's holding because it's very blurry and I tried glittering it but I was not happy with um, the way it was coming out. Plus one side of it is backwards and I really like to flip things around when I do the mirror image, which is also a lot of work to do and it wasn't worth doing with as blurry as this was. So I thought I'm just gonna put it to a fat comic book in because I don't think it really matters what she's reading. I will find that out later though. Um, so there we have, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to pick I don't know if it really much matters which comic book I decide to do, but I think I'm going to do Wonder Woman. I print out a bunch of them. Um, they're a little bit larger than what she wants has in her hand, but that is because I wanted to make sure that it covered the whole thing. So I made it maybe half an inch bigger, which again, doesn't matter. Now I'm going to take that one and I've got my pop dots. I'm going to, I'm going to double up on pop dots and I'll show you why as I go. First thing I want to do is I want to put this book over the one that is not printed out clearly. And let me see, should I pop dot that? 
I'm having second thoughts, so no, I think I'm just going to tape it. Since all of this is glitter, it's kind of already raised. It's not laying flat. Um, so when I laid that over there just now, after I just got through saying I was going to pop dot it and decided not to, I am going to, um, let me see, I need to pop dot. I need to put it kind of where her hand is going so that when I line the arm up, it lines up correctly. So the top part of this is gonna pretty much match the top part of the picture. Probably didn't have to make it that big, but you know what? I did, done. It's a cartoon, not the end of the world. So there we go. So I got that covering. I wanted to make sure I covered straight across up here because I'm gonna put some other piece here. So I'm just showing you that this is bigger than the original one. And then, guys, I'm sorry, but I have to get a drink. Those of you that are familiar with my burning mouth syndrome, I'm happy to say that it is getting better. I've cut my medication down to only once a day now. I was at twice a day and still having issues. Now I'm once a day and um, it is getting better. My mouth is still bone dry. That will probably never change. Now, I what I did here, I think I got the where'd my other one go? I know I cut it, so where did it go? Did I drop it? I maybe did. So then I'm gonna have to cut another one. Alrighty. Oh, I know I only cut one for one reason. What I did with one of the comic books is I cut it the width of these pages here and then I folded it like an accordion fold, back and forth. Then at the end of it, I held it shut like a fan, and I clipped off and into the end so that when I glue it down, I can, that's why I wanted to pop up this, so that I can tuck it under the book, and I want it to fan out. I didn't pop down it, but I think what I could do is just cut it down a little bit lower. I just want it so it's not sticking up a half an inch where I'm going to poke it under. So I cut, cut it like that. I hope you can see that. I'm going to poke it under the book. I should have put it on. For, now I shouldn't have put it on first because it's easier for me to line it up doing it this way. And I want it to, to attach all the way fanned out and stay fanned out like the pages of the comic book. So I didn't put much hot glue there, but just enough. So when she's reading it, these pages look like they're open. So you can see there, see how it's open here on the on that side? These pages are opened out. And what I did is like a little fan and put it underneath the book. And it went under pretty good, better than I anticipated. Now, pop dots are gonna come into play because now I gotta put her arm in there that is holding the book. And I don't, I want it to lined up with the arm that's underneath. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit to make sure I got the right hand. Put the wrong hand in there. Okay. And I'm gonna put it on top of the book. Hers, oh, hers was on top of the book. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna pop dot that. I am. I am, I am, I am. This is not a whole lot like drastic um, change in this centerpiece, but in person, you are able to see a little bit more um, dimension. dimension. <laughs> there I went again with the dementia. Uh, like my husband says, you're working out. It's really doing you good. Oh. He's always picking on me for that, yet I end up in the hospital with him constantly. You know, his idea of exercise is how, how much food he puts on his fork prior to lifting it to his mouth. That's his weightlifting. Okay, there we go. Now I got the hand on there holding the book. I'm going to do the other side. I like that. Hmm. I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay. 
So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and clip this one down. I hadn't done that yet. So I'm not going to cut it on a curve like originally planned. I just cut it off. Oh, well, guys, let me see if I can put it in there anyway. Maybe I won't take it on the inside. I'll just put it here, which I think it's not really going to matter. I'm probably going to have liked it better under the book. However, given um, non-anticipated or unanticipated or unexpected surprise of chopping the end off, that will be fine, maybe. Then let me just take and fold it down just a hair. Fold it down at the bottom here so it's not sticking out. And oh, this one, I just don't know. Um, I am coming up on to free time. Not until after the summer, but my last grandchild that I take care of full time will be in school full time. So I will be no, no longer be taking her back and forth to school and having her all day long because she'll be in school for the full day. So I'm in a free time there. I do have another baby on the way of which I take care of the two of them right now, which is soon to be no, that was not the one that's pregnant. That's the one that's trying to get pregnant. I have another granddaughter, son, having a baby. But anyway, I'm going to have more, more free time and try to get back to my um, Quick Flix, my, my channel, my shop and everything. And I have had time to, to learn a lot of little new tricks but I haven't been having the time to film as much as I would like. And I feel like that it's been so far and few between that a lot of my followers think I dropped off the face of the earth. So I'm gonna have to rebuild all of that. But the other kids, since I only have them two days a week, I'm gonna have five days a week free, which to me I haven't had in ever, ever. Cause when I retired, I started taking care of grandkids. So. There we go. We got both sides with the little, her reading the little comic book. So let me see. There was one other. I was going to do something too. Wasn't much. Um, again, I put these little balls on there because if it's not going to sit flat, I do not want the peg showing. Um, I just had my, my husband make me like a hundred bases and I know he absolutely loves doing that. Oh, let me do that orange before I forget because I didn't do her t-shirt on the one side. And then let me show you what I did for my kids. My two of my grandchildren um, are older, 15 and 12. Uh, so they still get Easter baskets. There's littler ones and that's just the way my family does traditions. Doesn't matter how old you are, their Easter bunny still hits you with the basket. Santa Claus still fills your stocking. That kind of stuff that just never gets old for them. They love it. So uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm sure I started out heading down somewhere. Okay, there, we got the other side of her done now. Wow. Do I look kind of lost, guys? Pretty much the story of my life. Uh, now I'm going to do the... I don't know what character she is. Because uh, I'm not familiar with this cartoon. I want to say this is the mother. Because I know there's an older sister. Yeah, I, I think this is the mother. Because I've got the family one already done. And I'm guessing this is mom the son, the younger daughter, the older daughter, and the dad. So I think I'm going to be pretty much right on with that. But these are done. And then we have the younger daughter. 
I do want to do something her. I'm going to put braces on her. But the mom with all the equipment, which I've done all my glossy accents and, and, and um, uh, glitter. And I use the liquid pearls to do the rope. What I'm going to do on her, though, is I'm going to take some of my... Um, whoops. Better not stick that there. My gems... Uh, what are they called? Luminous, Imaginesque. Imaginesque. And lost my tweezers. I do have to have my tweezers to put those on there. Here they are. I've just got some little silver metal. Uh, they're not brads, but they're kind of like it. They're not gems either. But I'm just going to place a couple of these on her camera. Where I'm going to do some of the extra textures is actually going to be on the movie camera here. And put one right in the middle of the reel. And in the meantime, I'm holding my luminesque down here to get it to hot. Because these are the ones that I have to melt. They've got glue on the one side that I have to melt. And I'm going to put another... I can't flip them over, guys. There we go. I'm going to put that in the middle of this one. And there's one already turned over, so let me... Nah, it just flipped again. These things are such a pain to work with. For me, they're a pain now because I, I can't see as well as I used to. Okay. Now, if I just hold this down for me, I can feel when I press down, it'll kind of move. Then I know it's melting. The metal ones are the only ones I like. They have ones that are gems, um, but they, they're too thick and they really don't heat up. So the only ones I ever use are the metal. I'd rather use the pre-sticky back gems or just jars of gems that I get and depending on the size that I need I just use with hot glue because they stand here forever trying to stick um, the clear gems on here or the colored gems are all different colors the ones that I currently have I don't use and I just glue them on if I find a use for them Oh, and also on this, what I did on the microphone, I cut out of pair, uh, cut out of full leather the microphone itself to put on the tip here, which is styrofoam typically, not styrofoam, sponge, kind of a spongy. I don't have any of that, so I'm using more of a leather look. But again, just just something to give it a little bit more texture to it. You can't see it that well on the camera, unfortunately, but in person I, you can, and, and it's cute. I think it's cute. I glittered that one. Uh, should I go over it or leave it? Since I glittered that side, I'm going to go over it so both sides match. When I do these, I, I do them before I put them together, and then I just lay them all over the place to dry, and sometimes the Front and back might not be done exactly the same, but you wouldn't know. Take, it would take you a long time to figure it out. There's something stuck here, and I think it's hot glue. When hot glue sticks to your um, image that you might be working on, you got to be really, really careful removing it. You might be a lot of times better off if it's not real big just to leave it because you'll rip the print off of your paper if you try and remove it. Which I did on the little, a little bit on here, but I'll chalk it. It'll be fine. The reason that happens, because this is typically like white core paper, when you print it out, it only prints on once. I mean, it only prints on the top of the paper. It doesn't go all the way through. So you have the white core in between. Whereas some of your scrapbook papers not the prints. The prints are always white core, but the solid colors are solid core where the, if they tear, the, they're still the same color in the middle. 
there's no white core to them, which is nice, but you can't print that way. And in my lifetime, I'm not going to see that happen. And my daughter is in Phoenix for the next five days with two of my grandsons. My older grandson that's 10, Wyatt, he is playing on some elite baseball um not the team, but he had an invite to, to some, some go, something they have in baseball. Um, he was invited for this, so they flew out there to spend five days. And she sent us pictures, and it's beautiful and sunny, and she watches a Tesla deliver guy's luggage to the hotel, and there was no one driving the Tesla. <laughs> and that was the first time I know I'd seen that in videos. I don't pay much attention, but I know it was my daughter's first time seeing it. So, of course, she filmed it and then she sent it to 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 us. And it was pretty cool to watch, although um, I would not I'm not I don't profess to be a good driver, but I have no interest in in riding in a car that drives for me. Um, I just, mm, I just not trusting that. Anyway, okay, we got that. Now I'm gonna have to fix that, but again, I've got, I've got my powders that I use whenever there's a little tiny white spot where I took that glue off, but I will fix that. And then she's done. And then I don't know if I showed the other pieces. Um, I got the little girl on the rope line. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, guys. I'm going to say excuse me before I sneeze. Um, let me see. I want to put braces on her. And I want to do them in gray. However, let me see if I have any of my... Uh, liquids here that are in more a gray i like the way that these go on better they're smoother i am running i'm running low on my glitters on my to-do list today is to order glitters and liquid no oh, liquid pearls and the color that one is not in there i'm gonna try this one when they start to run low, it's really, really hard to get them out, to squeeze them out. So, let me see. I want the um, her braces to stand out. So, I'm using the um, Nouvelle, which, what do they call these? They call them... Dimensions. I can't read it on the, on this one, but I think crystal drops are what they call them. Crystal drops, liquid pearls, puff paint. Oh, there's so many names for them. They're all the same thing. They just dry with a a nice feel to them. They add. They do add dimension. So that person that calls them dimension drops, I'm going to go with that because that is exactly what I use them for. Now, I won't be able to do my hair, my husband down there. He's on the phone with my sister in law. I have to go. They're all coming here in May for my nephew's graduation from the UW. Then I have to go there in August for my great niece's wedding. I cannot believe I've got a great niece getting married, and it won't be long before I'll probably have a great, great niece or nephew. Tell me I'm not feeling absolutely old as dirt. Oh, I really like you're not going to be able to see that very clearly, I don't think. I'll take up a close-up picture as I can. But that liquid really made those braces pop out. I like that a lot. Okay. I think on um, the family, that was it. I think I'm done then. 
So I will get some pictures and then I will get it uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a fantastic, oh, Siri went on, um, have a fantastic weekend. By the way, it's Friday. Who knows when you'll see this, but if it's past the weekend, I hope you had a good weekend. Bye-bye.